Mission for the Soul. As to the fifth count of the information, Gage Grosskreutz, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Ritt Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. Members of the jury, are these your unanimous verdicts? Is there anyone who does not agree with the verdicts as read? No. Uh, would you wish the jury pulled? No. Okay. Uh, okay, folks, your uh, job is done, and uh, we started just about three weeks ago. So apparently, you can be under the age of 18, cross state lines, go to a protest, and kill two people. Otherwise, no one else killed anyone at that particular process except Killer Kyle. Because this is what this message sends. But I'm not surprised because they supported Kyle Rittenhouse. As far as I'm concerned, based on the video footage I saw, of the incident last year, which sparked the protests because of Jacob Blake being shot at by police that caused Jacob Blake to become paralyzed. Kyle decides to go to that protest last year. And when he gets into Wisconsin from Illinois, I believe, he somehow someone hands him a gun at the age of 17, which results in him killing not one, but two people, two white males he killed. There's no justification for this. It just demonstrates that having justice in this country does not matter when it comes to white supremacy. Because I don't see any other reason how someone could justify someone going over state lines under the age of 18 and then he's handed a gun and somehow he's, he's defending himself. He wouldn't have had to defend himself had he never left home. So this has been an injustice and a slap into the face to the United States Constitution as far as I'm concerned because you do have the right to arms, but you don't really have the right to go to a protest and someone hands you a gun for you to protect property that's not yours. Because the property or, nor the state that Kyle went to was his. Make this make sense. 